probably won't use it, but <laughs> welcome to the table. <laughs> I, am, I feel welcome. <laughs> All right. Hi, and welcome back to our channel. Inspired to Game. My name is Lola. And I'm Sean. And today we bring to you Eternal Palace, published by Alley Cat Games. So we just received our deluxe Kickstarter edition of this um, just yesterday, and today we got in our first play, just actually right now, and we thought we would bring it to you and discuss it. So, what did you think of the game? Let's get into it. Um, it was a nice, simple game. It's uh, easy to learn. It looks a little complicated uh, just because the artwork is very... Um, it's very nice to look at, but just trying to figure out what all these different stations mean, because uh, it is a, a dice placement game, so you have stations 1 through 12, and, well, what do each of them mean? And it's, uh, once you get past that, it's a quick, maybe, you know, 10, 15 minute explanation, you're like, ah, okay, now I understand, and off we go. Yeah, so the basis of the game, so you start off with three dice, which can increase to four or five as you play. You start off by rolling them, each roll them, whoever has the higher or lower numbers de determines play order. And then you have these little screens that you order your dice in different groupings for different numbers and present them to each other and those determine your moves for the next round. You go back and forth using your dice, um, putting them on the board corresponding to the numbers on the different tracks. As you progress on the different tracks, um, you'll reach the end of them or you'll reach trigger points at which you'll be able to put a new um, landscape into your painting. So say for instance, if I uh, reach the end of the track on number three, I would get to put a number three painting on. Um, I can reverse either side and it would go like this into my landscape. As I reach further ones, you can see that they change in size. They go in order of number so that they, they, they match up well. And there's also other options to gain additional features onto your landscape as well to help make it more varied and interesting. Essentially, this is like your score track in the way that um, once you reach eight, um, eight eight pieces, the game ends. And then you add up how many points everybody has. And uh, But instead of having like a points track where you have eight victory points that you've accrued, you're actually just accruing different landscapes. And I really like this mechanism and I think it's really, really fun because as you play, you get to see your um, your your painting grow and each painting is going to be completely different because there's enough different landscape pieces uh, like way more than eight so that as you're getting each different things and having different features in them you wind up with lovely little paintings that look completely different regardless mm -hmm. and as you said so uh it's the first person to reach eight layers that's eight numbered layers um on top of the numbered layers you're also earning these little feature pieces and uh, we have mm -hmm. another one here so the the lions here for example or these this bridge or uh temples um each of those featured pieces are going to be different between the two paintings different every time you play and uh on top of that you're also so that's uh additional points for that so you're eight layers and plus number your feature layers uh plus you get points if you have earned the um what are these monuments uh, the, the bull and the, the, the bridge and whatnot. So it's uh, not a very high scoring game. Uh, there's gonna be, you're always gonna have a very close score, which is really kind of neat. Um, mm -hmm. I think our first game, we were one point away from each other. Uh, it was just a matter of um, having somebody having consecutive numbers, more consecutive numbers than the other when it came to final scoring. So a very nice, friendly game and uh, really kind of fun. Yeah, and it's also a, um, a little bit more um, thinky than I expected because cause you think, oh, well, you're using dice, so it's all random, but dice can be added up in a whole variety of different ways. And there are additional tokens, like wisdom tokens, that let you uh, add or subtract numbers so you can adjust what your numbers are. So in, in, in essence, it's like a worker placement, but instead a dice placement. The nice thing about that, too, is you can utilize... Um, the same space somebody else has already gone to. So unlike in other worker placements where you're only one person can occupy it, you can you can go to the same places just with a bit of a penalty of having to pay a fish, another resource that you collect. 
Um, so yeah, I actually had, had heard really mediocre things about this game. So when our Kickstarter was arriving, we really weren't quite sure what to think and what to expect. But I can say that I was actually pleasantly surprised because we found that this was a really fun game to play. So if you pick it up in retail, you wouldn't get these uh, little monument uh, miniatures. It comes with just cardboard tokens instead. So if you can get um, the Kickstarter edition, I think it is worth it because it's, it's a nice aspect to it. But otherwise, I think that this, this, if it sounds good to you, could be a game worth picking up. And something I wanted to say, so the uh, the variability, as Lola was saying, they're dice. They're, everybody's used to using dice in, in games, but in this case, uh, you want to go to the number nine, because that's what you're trying to advance to get that layer of painting, but how do you get there? Do you get it with a five and a four? Well, if you get it with two dice, you only get one resource when you get there. But if you do it with three or more dice, then you get more resources. Uh, the same with uh, any of the other numbers where you're gathering resources. If you can do it with more lower numbers, you get more resources for it. Um, it's really, and there are even somewhere, uh, if you go to the 12, if you do it with the two dice, you've claimed that. Now you have to do it again. You have to do it with three or four or all five of your dice to claim another spot on there to actually get your number 12 piece. So it's uh, it's really using the the variability of dice and the fact that you can get almost any number with any number of dice um, to really help you plan that strategy a little bit more and put another layer of thought and strategy into it. Yeah, and as far as criticisms um, that I have of the game, and this is all of this is really keep in mind, this is just from one play and it was a two player game and it was just right now. So we, we like to get our ideas hot off the presses um, is the stands are a little fiddly um, as you build up your layers. It can get yeah, you can see it falls. Um, it can get a little bit difficult to put them on. There are some features as well that are particularly wide in their base, which is great when you put the feature on in front, but say if you're layering lots of different features and you'd like to have, say, your tree a little bit more to the side, but it only really does well in the middle. And some of the features don't really look as good once they start being co um, covered up and layered. I also would love to have seen with all these different layers, some variability within the same layers. So for instance, um, you can see that they are each the exact same thing. It would be nice to have each slightly different, even if it was just some variation in colors. So this one has a river going through it. If some of the river was maybe a little bit more green or maybe there were a little bit more flowers around or maybe using the same uh, shape, it actually has some different landscaping components so that each was a bit more unique. Uh, I would be a bit more excited about this if it had that as an additional feature, but I think that is my only criticisms of it is just as this grows, it's hard to keep all of it together sometimes. And I would love to see a little bit more, more variety and even sometimes more, more color, like say, for instance, this, um, this tree the the blossoms are supposed to be pink but it almost looks a little bit more gray it's a bit more muted than i would like but um but overall it's really fun having your having your painting come together and i think it really looks beautiful and this is definitely a win for us absolutely yeah well thanks for joining along um we uh, hope you enjoyed our video and make sure if you did to like it below and please subscribe and hit the notifications buttons as well. Check out any of our other videos. <laughs> <laughs> there are at least two, so it counts as a plural. <laughs> and they come and they're coming. And so follow along. Thanks very much for joining us and happy gaming folks. Da -da -da.